decide who lives or who dies. Step into a world where gunpowder and grit reign supreme. Join us as we uncover the untamed tales of the most feared gunslingers of the Wild West. From the quick draws of Billy the Kid to the lawman prowess of Wyatt Earp, get ready for a journey through the legends that have shaped our perception of this captivating era. The Birth of the Wild West, a prelude to gunpowder. America, mid-19th century, the Civil War had just ended, and there was a surge of people moving west. This mass migration ignites the spark of a new era. Welcome to the Wild West, a time of lawlessness and rapid expansion. In the 1800s, the West wasn't just West, it was wild. A place of untamed nature, ripe for prospecting, yet teeming with danger. The gold rush fever had swept the nation. People uprooted their lives, embarking on perilous journeys toward an uncertain but hopeful future. And as the floodgates opened, so did the possibilities for conflict. Miners squabbled over claims. Cattle rustlers thrived. New towns sprung up overnight, often without a strong law enforcement presence. Into this void stepped a new breed of men, the gunslingers. Imagine owning a gun back then. It wasn't just for protection. In the Wild West, a weapon symbolizes power and authority. The man who held it? Gunslingers aren't simply gun wielders. We're talking about folks who are intimidated or feared with their firearms. Dodge City, the wickedest city in the West, recorded 165 murders per 100,000 citizens during the Wild West. That's five times America's most dangerous city. The Wild West was a world of danger, where the gun ruled supreme and those who wielded it became legends. This, dear viewers, is the birthplace of our most feared gunslingers. Revolver Revolutionaries, Billy the Kid and Wyatt Earp. Fasten your seatbelts as we venture into the legendary lives of two of the most notorious gunslingers of the Wild West, Billy the Kid and Wyatt Earp. They weren't just quick on the draw. Their stories continue to grip us, defining the very essence of that tumultuous era. First, let's talk about the infamous Billy the Kid. Born William Henry McCarty Jr., his life was a turbulent, violent journey. By age 21, when most young adults were starting their lives, Billy's was abruptly ended. But don't let his youth fool you. Some reports suggest he gunned down 21 men, one for each year of his life. A notorious outlaw, he was a fugitive from the law, yet too many, a folk hero symbolizing the Wild West's rugged individualism and rebellious spirit. Not all gunslingers were outlaws, some wore badges. Earp, a Dodge City and Tomstone lawman was involved in one of the most iconic shootouts in history, the gunfight at the OK Corral. Three men died after 30 rounds were fired in 30 seconds, solidifying Earp's terrible reputation. Let's assess. These two individuals opposed the law at a period when firearms typically delivered justice. Yet their names are forever linked with the era's gun-toting, dust-choked legacy. One was the face of rebellion, the other of law enforcement, but both held powerful sway over the towns they wandered through. In the crosshairs of fear, the legend of Wild Bill Hickok. James Butler Hickok was a scout, lawman, and gambler, but most importantly, he was a force. Hickok ruled the Wild West with his flowing hair, towering physique, and perfect shooting. The highlight of his fame, or perhaps his infamy, was the duel with Davis Tut in 1865, the first recorded instance of a one-on-one -on -one pistol quick drug duel, a public square in Springfield, Missouri. Two men, Hickok and Tut, engaged in a deadly feud over a watch. With the town's folks watching, they faced each other about 75 yards apart. And then the sound of gunfire. <laughs> Tut missed. Hickok didn't. This confrontation solidified Wild Bill's status as one of the deadliest gunslingers in the West. Let's dive deeper into the man behind the legend. Despite his deadly reputation, Hickok was said to be a gentle soul. His calm demeanor belied a fearsome reputation. And though his life ended at a poker table, shot in the back by Jack McCall, his legend lived on. Wild Bill Hickok, ladies and gentlemen, was a complex character, a man of contrasts, gentle yet deadly, a feared gunslinger yet an honored lawman. His story serves as a reminder that the Wild West was a tumultuous world, where danger lurked around every corner and the line between hero and villain was as blurred as the dusty horizon. Drawn to danger, Doc Holliday and the gunfight at the OK Corral. We meet a razor-edged guy as we go further into the Wild West. John Henry Doc Holliday, a name that chills, faced death daily from his escapades and increasing disease. An educated dentist by trade, Doc Holliday's life took a turn for the violent when he was diagnosed with tuberculosis at 22. With nothing to lose, he headed west, turning his sharp mind and sharper shooting skills to gambling, gunfighting, and living life one day at a time. Holliday was a walking contradiction. A man of refinement with a quick temper, 
a cultured gentleman one moment and a deadly gunslinger the next. However, the gunfight of the OK Coral truly spurs Doc Holliday's name into the annals of Wild West lore. Picture the scene. A chilly October afternoon in Tomstone, Arizona, 1881. Tensions were high and the air was heavy with anticipation. With Doc Holliday at their side, the Earps faced off against the outlaw cowboys. In less than 30 seconds, the streets were echoing with gunfire. Three cowboys lay dead while the law enforcement officers stood victorious. This legendary gunfight was more than just a shootout. It symbolized the constant struggle between law and lawlessness, a theme that defined the Wild West. Holiday, despite his loose cannon personality, stood firmly on the side of the law during this historic event. Jesse James, the Robin Hood of the Wild West or a Ruthless Outlaw A man of many faces, he's been portrayed as a ruthless outlaw and a Robin Hood-like figure. So who was the real Jesse James? Born into a slave-owning family, James had his first brush with violence during the bloody Kansas-Missouri border wars before the Civil War. These early experiences hardened him, setting the stage for his later life of crime. Jesse James led the James Younger Gang with his brother Frank, a group notorious for its daring bank and train robberies. The James Younger Gang didn't just rob banks. They made audacious daylight raids such as the infamous robbery at the First National Bank in Northfield, Minnesota, 1876. They flooded with a few dollars, leaving two citizens dead and their gang decimated. Many saw the banks and railroads often the targets of James' gang as symbols of oppressive northern power. When the team plundered these institutions, some viewed them as defying dictatorial regimes, turning Jesse into a folk hero. But let's be clear here. Jesse James was no saint. His actions resulted in death and destruction. Gunpowder and Grit, the allure of the gunslinger In the Wild West, the rule of law was often overshadowed by the control of the gun. It was a society in flux, marked by lawlessness, where a gunslinger could be a villain one day and a savior the next. Consider the paradox of Wed Earp, a lawman and a gambler, or the dualism of Jesse James, a ruthless killer and a folk hero. These contradictions created a fascination around gunslingers, cementing their place in our cultural memory. Gunslingers were a product of their times. In an age of social and political turmoil, power regularly changed hands at gunpoint. These people appeal because they can control their fate, survive, and even flourish amidst the chaos. The number of cities with over 10,000 citizens increased, and the U.S. population almost doubled from 1865 to 1895, the Wild West. Throughout this fast growth, gunslingers symbolize opposition, law, chaos, and control. Gunslingers appeal because of their sheer might, intimidation, and defiance. Their impact on the modern perception of the Wild West. Now that we've explored the lives of these fearsome gunslingers, let's examine their lasting impact on our modern perception of the Wild West. Their legends continue to echo through the corridors of history, shaping how we envision this bygone era. The Wild West holds a mythical place in popular culture, thanks in no small part to the gunslingers who roamed its dusty streets. From dime novels to Hollywood films, the image of the gunslinger has become deeply ingrained in our collective imagination. We've romanticized their quick draws, unwavering resolve, and ability to thrive in an unforgiving landscape. But here's an interesting fact. The Hollywood depiction of gunfights with its dramatic face-offs and simultaneous shots doesn't align with the historical reality. Most gunfights were swift and chaotic, often resulting in a single fatal shot. Thanks for participating in us on this fascinating tour of the Wild West's most feared gunslingers. If you like this video, subscribe and ring the bell to be informed on our future material. Please share your ideas and tales below. Like, share, and preserve the Wild West. Keep exploring till next time. Until next time, stay curious and stay adventurous.